Now welcome back to another episode of Blade Miss's Story, where we have the starting center fielder for the Toronto Blue Jays who made his debut in the previous episode. If you want to go ahead and see episode 1, we're going to have a playlist on the channel. So all you have to do is click on the channel, click on playlist, and there you will see the Blade Miss playlist where we have the Road to the Show series. It's a brand new one, so make sure you stay tuned by hitting that red subscribe button and like button as well. Now, we have a couple of more games against the Seattle Mariners, two to be exact. Now, unfortunately, our record is not that good. Like, we're really underperforming from what I expected our team to do. We walk in hitting 250 as we did go one for four yesterday. Now, we got to worry about a slider curveball and a splitter. And a very deceptive move right there. That should drop. Instead, it's going to be another line out. So, Blade Miss, he has been hitting the ball well. But, unfortunately, he has been lining out nonstop. As that's a new surprising face on the Seattle Mariners. As we see Brandon Crawford actually starting for them. Most likely playing shortstop as well. As he hits a shot to left field. We are going to be able to make the grab, hopefully. Actually, the right fielder is going to call us off. We had the opportunity, we were getting into the animation, but once again, our fielding isn't spectacular. So, luckily for us, the right fielder did decide to call us off, and we are stepping into our second at-bat now with no runners on base. Slider, curveball, splitter, that's what we're worried about right here. Nice little fastball. We could have turned on that bad boy, for sure, for sure. We were very late on it, but we definitely could have turned on it. Another fastball. Look, you want to keep... Feeding me fastballs, I'll take it any time, any day. Let's go, baby. 0-2 count. Nice curveball. Too bad he hung it, and we absolutely destroyed it. Is that going to be a home run? No, that one's hitting off the wall. Should be an easy double for Blade Miss, and he starts off today's ball game being one for two. Let's go, baby. That's how we like to start things off. Let's get hot. Let's get hot around the right time. We got Guriel Jr. making his appearance. He's currently 0 for 1. Ho ho hopefully he can hit a moonshot or at least hit it to where he can drive me in. I'm not looking to steal, bro. You can relax. You know, I don't have speed like that, unfortunately. The it, was, it, was, it was a lot easier to steal bags because the catchers, they literally had no arm strength. Do we go home here? No, we do not. We do not test Mitch Hanniger's arm. 100% not testing that. Now hitting, hopefully not grounding out into a double play, is going to be Steven Piscotti. He has a 1-2 count. Hopefully he can hit a shot of Kikuchi. He's going to end up striking out. Nice. Now we have Tyler White. Now I saw Tyler White in the minors. The runner on first is not moving since there's only one out. But I did see him in double A when I was in there as he swings extremely late on a fastball to strike out as well. Now it's time for Bo to do some damage. He has a 1-1 count, so hopefully that means that Bo is at least going to hit a shot. And he's going to hit a ground ball. That's going to pass both the first baseman and second baseman. Bo is going to drive in the first run of the ball game. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Now Mitch Hanniger is up to hit. He has a runner on for a 2-2 count. That's going to be hopefully an easy out for us as we're running in looking to make the grab. We make the grab and throw it to the cutoff, man. Easy job for us. Let's make our next plate appearance, hopefully. All right, so we're one for two with the double, currently hitting 333, but it is early in the season. I'm aiming to finish off hitting over 300. That's a good fastball outside. I'm telling you, Kikuchi, he's throwing some very deceiving pitches, or the way he throws is very deceiving, 100%. But that curveball is not too deceiving. If we would have just been a little bit earlier on it in terms of reading it, it would have been a home run. That's a good curveball. That's a good pitch right there, 100%. With the way he throws it, it's almost a 12-6. Fastball, go. I wanted that to go foul so bad. We got it off the end of the bat. We swung so early, it was most likely a corkscrew. Now, shed long. I don't know who Shed Long is. All I know is he is in the Seattle Mariners, and he is an MOB player right now. He hits a fly ball. Going to be an easy out, hopefully, right at us. And we get the animation. No errors from us. Let's continue improving our fielding because right now we have common fielding. So we're one for three with the double. We have an opportunity to pile on some runs. Altavilla is pitching. Slider and changeup. 
That's going to be a good two-seamer outside. I'm telling you, that two-seamer has some movement. On Legend difficulty, every pitch has movement. Let's go. Let's crush one. Let's give our pitchers some rest. Or at least some confidence to come out here and throw a shutout inning. We are playing on Legend difficulty, in case anybody's wondering. That's a good four-seamer. Definitely could have been a pitch we turned on. But... I was thinking he was more afraid to face me than go right after me. Slider changeup. Let's crush it. Four seamer inside. So we can either A, get walked, or three, swing out of our boots for this one. I think I'm going to swing out of my boots if it's inside the strike zone. I said I was swinging out of my boots if it was inside the strike zone. And that one is going to hit off the wall. We're going to get ourselves a double, hopefully. Going to dive in there just in case. And that should be our second double. Let's go. Now, Gurriel Jr., full count. He's going to get intentionally walked. He already has a full count. What, what is going on? Why would you just walk him? Just face him. Get the game over with. Or get him over with. You guys get what I'm saying. So now it's going to be a full count to Steven Piscotti. He's already hit a solo home run. So he's already done some damage. And it looks like he's looking to do some more damage. Oh, one count. He's going to hit a line drive. Hopefully, this is past the left fielder. It is past the left fielder. We are going to be able to score. And he is going to get just the single because of how hard he hit it. But we take a nice little comfortable four-run lead. Now, Shed Long. He plays second base. All right, so we got that down. He plays second base for the Seattle Mariners. He's currently 0 for 2, has runners on first and second, looking to do some damage, cut the deficit down some, and he's going to hit a shot to right field. And that one is going to end up leaving the ballpark, and we didn't even have an opportunity to rob that one as he's going to cut down the lead to 4. Now we get another lead to hit. It's now in the top of the ninth. Change up and slider. Not sure who's pitching. Brennan. That's who's pitching. A oh, oh, count for us. That's a bad pitch to swing at. Really bad pitch to swing at. But I had a feeling I was getting a fastball. I just thought it would be inside the strike zone. Slider and change up. Let's go. Let's turn on something. That's a pitch to turn on. And our first no down run, run, run in the majors comes off of Brennan in the ninth inning where we are this is our first no doubt home run right yeah 100 percent. so our second home run of the season our first no doubt home run gets the distance oh it's a little too late it was 402 so let's go baby that's what i'm talking about three for five in today's ball game have a pair of doubles and a home run. That's, that's eight total bases we're getting the job done we just got called up too so we're putting on a show you gotta put on a show gotta put on a show for everybody look at that blast even the pitcher knew as soon as i hit it Almost hit, never mind. I was going to say we almost hit the cafe sign, but we missed that sign by a mile. Now, this should be the final game of the series. We are currently tied 1-1 in terms of the series. I'm looking to win every single series since being called up, and I'm looking to help out the team in that department 100% because we're currently struggling in terms of win. We're hitting 444. Somebody must have hit a solo shot considering we're up one zip. Fastball a little too high for our liking. We're going to go ahead and take that pitch. All we need to do is catch something and we can get on base. I'm looking to hit 500 right now. Good, nice little change up outside. We're not chasing it all though. We're going to go ahead and take that pitch. 2-0 count. He's almost forced to give us something to hit. Nice little slider. I was looking to turn on that. And we did turn on it. Just a little too early. 2-1 count now. That's a nice changeup. That one hung up there for a while. I could have 100% hit a home run. Now it's 2-2. Let's crush one. We fouled that off to stay alive. Nice little changeup in the dirt. Got to hit something, though. Nice fastball, man. We're just fighting. That's all we can do right now. All we can do is fight. Fight. Two count, count. Four seamer. Should be a base hit past Brandon Crawford at short. Lucky us, we got ourselves a base hit. Now, hopefully, we. So, Guriel Jr. is currently 3 for 4 in this series. He's hitting 288 on the season, so he's not. 
1-1 count. He's going to go ahead and get a ground ball to the pitcher. And it should be an easy out to end the first inning. Or the top of the first, I should say. So we're currently hitting 500 on the season after we got that base hit. Which means we're 5 for 10. Which is not bad at all. Let's continue hitting well. Four seamer right down the pipe. We're late on it. Come on, Justice. I know you want to give me something good to hit. And I want to hit something good to hit as well. We checked, we did not go. Thankfully, 1-1 one, one count now. Let's do some damage here. 1-1 one, one count. Nice little outside fastball. We get underneath it. Is it going to stay in play? Tom Murphy seems to be under it, and he makes the grab. So we just got underneath that fastball. If we would have squared it up, 100% would have been either disappeared or hit into the outfield. Justice is still on the mound. He has a runner on first. The count or the pitch I should say it was a slider and it hung right over the middle of the plate took full advantage hit it right past the third baseman and did they take him out no it was just a mound visit so top of the fifth runners on first and second Guriel Jr. looking to do some damage for us and he's gonna hit a line drive that almost takes my head off for the final out of the inning so we're facing the center fielder that robbed us of two base hits yesterday or two days ago, I should say. He's going to hit a fly ball. We're going to make the grab, hopefully. And that is going to be the final out of the inning. Our pitcher is still throwing a shutout. Dan Altavilla. He's going to be coming up to pitch. We're going to be coming up to hit. Let's go ahead and do some damage. So we faced him yesterday. All he has is a slider and a changeup. Pretty sure I can crush him. That is a hanger. Even though it's a two-seamer, it's a little bit of a hanger. If he hangs something like that again, I'm 100% looking to hit a home run. A little bit of an inside fastball. Doesn't really entice me unless it's like right there. That's where I like to hit it. Come on. Nice little slider. We were taken until we got a strike. Now that we got a strike, we're looking to hit. Two seamer, two inside. You got to be looking to give us something to hit here. 3-1 count. Come on. We checked our swing. We did not go. Good. Because I was about to say, Blue. So, Guriel Jr., he's 0 for 3 today, which means he's 3 for 11 currently in the series. He's currently on a 1-2 count, running on first base, looking not to hit into a ground ball. And that's exactly what he's going to do. We're going to try to take out the second baseman, but we're so slow it didn't even give me the opportunity to. And hopefully we can walk out of this game with a victory. And that we will do. So we win the series 2-1. to one. That's what I want to start doing as soon as I get to the majors. Getting the team to win every single series. I want to be the Yasio Puig of the Los Angeles Dodgers. But instead for the Toronto Blue Jays. I hope y'all get what I'm saying. Anyways, I think I am going to call the episode here. And starting with every episode one we will do just one series and that will be all unless we only play one game in the series we most likely are only going to be doing one series now if you did end up enjoying today's video make sure you guys hit that like button and red subscribe button we're most likely going to be doing definitely one series of video maybe more than that we'll see but right now i think it's best to just do one series once we start getting more people to want to watch the series and etc we will go ahead and add more games to it. 